Installing the software. Disk 1. Teachers. This disk contains the installers for the LMS, the Learning Management System, and the teacher resources. The Learning Management System should be installed on the server for the school network. The teacher's resources can be installed on any computer as it doesn't need to connect to the LMS. The Learning Management System Insert disk 1 into the server computer and then run the file LittleBridge LMS SEP EXE First, choose if you would like the install screens to be displayed in English or Spanish. Follow the on-screen prompts. Read the license agreement. If you accept the terms of the agreement, check the box and click Next. Choose an installation directory or use the default path. Click Next. Choose a port number that the student software will use to connect to the LMS. Unless there is a conflict, we recommend using the default. Click Next. Choose an LMS administrator username and password. Click Next. Enter the name of your school. Click Next. You're now ready to install. Click Next to start the installation. You can choose to view the README file and run the LMS when the installer closes, but we recommend restarting your computer before running the LMS. Click Finish. You must now restart the computer to configure the LMS. Once you have restarted your computer, you should go to www.littlebridge.com slash SEP and install the LMS update to receive our latest updates and improvements. Click the update link and download and install this update. Follow the on-screen prompts. Once the update is installed, double-click on the Little Bridge LMS icon on your desktop. You must now enter the product key supplied to you from Chango Maniaco. You must now enter the product key supplied to you from Chango Maniaco. You must be connected to the internet to activate the LMS. Log in with the administrator details that you created during the install process. Your LMS is now ready to use. On the first tab, School, you will see some information. A link to www.littlebridge.com slash SEP for video tutorials and updates. The web address for the LMS. This should be emailed to your teachers. This is the address they should use to access the LMS from other computers on the network. Server name and port number. These need to be entered the first time you run the student software on every student computer so that it can connect to the LMS. Chango Maniaco support email address.
Teacher Resources. Insert Disk 1 into the teacher's computer and then run the file LB4 Resources SEP exe. First, choose if you would like the install screens to be displayed in English or Spanish. Follow the on-screen prompts. Read the license agreement. If you accept the terms of the agreement, check the box and click Next. Choose an installation directory or use the default path. Click Next. You are now ready to install. Click Next to start the installation. You can choose to run the resources application when the installer closes. Click Finish. Your teacher resources are now installed. Student Software Insert Disk 2 into the student's computer and then run the file littlebridge 4 sep exe. First, choose if you'd like the install screens to be displayed in English or Spanish. Follow the on-screen prompts. Read the license agreement. If you accept the terms of the agreement, check the box and click Next. Choose an installation directory or use the default path. Click Next. You are now ready to install. Click Next to start the installation. You can choose to run the student application when the installer closes. Click Finish. Your student software is now installed. Run the student software. Click Conexión. Your student software is now connected to the LMS server. Students can now log into the software using a username and password created for them in the LMS by their teacher. This student software must be installed on every computer in the network. This video has shown you how to install the learning management system, the teacher's resources and the student software. To learn how to use all of these, please see our other videos.